Hey cooks, welcome back to I Am Cooking Again. My name is Ken. Welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little unique, something quick and fast. This is a weeknight, fast dinner. It's spring break. Kids are headed home from grandma's. We're going to do a quick meatloaf. Something fun for them, quick and easy style. Not a main ingredients, not a lot of work, not a lot of hassle. We're going to throw it together, throw it in the oven, and throw it down their mouths. Stay with me. We cook. Hey cooks, we're back. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, some people don't do it. I do do it because our family likes it that way. We saute the onions. Get them soft, you know, break them down a little bit. Okay, simple, simple procedure. What we do first, Preheat our oven, 375. And while it's preheating, that's when we saute this. All right, you can hear it quick. About a tablespoon, not a lot. About a tablespoon. Then your little pan. If it fights, you fight it back. All right, let it fight you back. Get that going. Move the stuff out the way. It's live, live. We try, to edit, we try to edit the edits, as they say. Edit the edits. Preempt the edits. All right, that boils down. Grab a big fork, turn around that pan. Like I said, simple, simple guys, real simple. Add these chopped onions in there, about a cup if you measure. Not, let me feel any spirit. Add in there, get that going. Saute it up. Like that. Tablespoon of uh, minced garlic in there. Add to that flavor. It smells good, y'all. Smells good. Let's fork on that one. About a tablespoon. A tablespoon of fork. You know what I'm talking about? See what we cooking again, y'all. See what we get out. Let's get this going. Simple saute, guys. Simple. Might add a little salt and pepper to this. That's fine. We're gonna season the meat anyway. But you can if you want. Make you feel better. All right. Let's get our bowl. Get our bowl. We'll get this meat together by waiting for that saute. Like I said, this is a quick, quick weeknight deal. Oh, wait a minute. This is brand new. Quick weeknight deal, guys. So it's gonna be fast. Might be a little furious. All right. First, add a little bit. A tablespoon steak season, guys. What we're gonna do it? I mean, it really amps up the flavor. Uh, this is called Flavor Mate. I get it from a place called Bravo here in Florida. I don't they carry that where you're at because it's not like a Montana steak or it's more like a Brazilian steak season. This just has a very good flavor. I put it on anything beef, burgers, franks, briskets, everything. Okay, guys, let's get our wet stuff in first. Get my one egg. Crack a lacquer. Watch out for that shell game. Put that egg in there. Get that to the side. We'll do a little mustard. Whatever you want, teaspoon, tablespoon. That'll make you feel good. Get a little mustard in there, if you can see. People say they can't see. Get that mustard juice in there, it's all good. Egg and mustard, I go heavy on that. Okay, put Worcestershire sauce. It's Worcestershire. England before. I said, what's your shot? Throw that in there. Okay, guys, some people say, well, wait, 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 wait. where's the milk? I don't put any milk in mine. Okay, I don't worry about milk. All right, put a little ketchup in there. Use it for the glaze. We're also going to use it here, too. Okay, guys. Yeah. A tablespoon. Not a lot. Put that in there. All right, y'all. Creole season. Do with that. Another tablespoon. At this point, we mix around. So we mix it around. Turn that up nice. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like sometimes. You mix that around. Not super solid, but solid. All right. 
I don't know what someone's yours gonna be, but whatever it is, ride with it. Tend to them onions. Tend to. Your mom say that, you know where you're from. Tend to it. All right. They, they come along. Like I said, by the time we get this uh, hamburger meat and season together, these will be ready to go. Like if you run out of butter and your budget a little funny, put a little water in it. Doesn't matter. Put a little water in there. Put a little tap water in there. Tighten it up. Okay. We've got our ground beef. So we use this whole pack. We're about, about a pound and a half in here. Maybe close to two. I'm gonna just cut that open and get two of these in. Alright. Don't worry about that counter action. We're gonna get it in there, you know? See, oh man, squeeze me two. Let's squeeze it all out. It's all good. I guess for this channel, we go for fast and convenient. We just make it work. You squeeze it, yeah, I'm squeeze it out of there, man. It'll work. I ain't gonna waste none of this either, y'all. Let's see some prices out there. Squeeze it out. It's like toothpaste. Whatever you have to use. The squeeze bag. Alright, guys. We got it all out of there. Gonna rip it open. You're not wasting none, y'all. It might be somebody's last bite. All right, get that out of there. Empty it out. You see that? Empty it out. Round beef in there. Okay. Okay. 99% for the 1%, 1% of the game. All right. 10% of the game, you know what's happening? Get this to the side. I'm gonna have a little quick rinse, y'all. A little quick rinse. A little quick rinse. All right. I'm gonna be on this breadcrumb, y'all. I say about, about a cup. A little seasoned breadcrumb, Italian breadcrumb. A cup of that. Give a nice flavor. About a cup. Put that in there. Alright y'all, now it's time to get down. We're going to mix this with our hands, with my hands. You see what we're doing, okay. Got these onions about softened. Tighten those up a little bit. Get a little clear, smells good. I think when you cook this together, I don't know what, for some reason, it seems like it bonds them together, the onion and the garlic, which are two of my favorite things. Okay, so we turn that off. Sometimes what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait a minute, let this set a minute, let this cool for about 30 seconds, guys. Not a long time, about 30 seconds. I'm gonna let that cool off, clean this count off a little bit, come back to you. These onions in there, we're gonna mold it together, put it together, put it in the oven. Simple, fast. All right, stay with me, guys. We're cooking again. Hey, cooks, we're back. Onions have cooled off. We're ready to meal, mold, excuse me, not meal, mold this meatloaf, guys. Okay? I'm gonna take the onion. And the garlic, and they look beautiful, y'all. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, put that in there. Put that in the game. No waste nothing. Put that in the game. All right, y'all. So you get your hands in here. You got to get ready. Now, for all my people, Say if you're an auto mechanic or you just got your nails done for the ladies, I know you're not sticking your hand in there. Get you a nice good spoon. That'll work too, a sturdy spoon. But this works better by hand for some reason. Let me get in there. Yeah, it's a little slimy grimy. I don't know if you can see this. It's a little slimy grimy, y'all. We're gonna get in there. Get that breadcrumb. And you don't want it super tight, you don't want to pack it. So we're not making hamburgers, you know. If you didn't miss my best uh, bacon and burger video, check it out. It was right before this one. Break it up. Get that thing really mixed up, guys. Really mixed up, cooks. All right. Get 
you know. Good mix. Like I said, sometimes I fold mine, fold it over, and then fold that over. I'm not going to get all the flavor that was on the bottom. I want to get it mixed in real good with that meat. Okay? Let's get it mixed in. And that's going to be very good. There you go. A couple more. A couple more flips on the trip. You see, it's coming together, guys. It's coming together real nice. Let me get my arm out the way. Coming together real nice, guys. Real nice. Okay? Coming together real nice. Okay. Now, as we get ready, now, going for our glass dish. You see many, many people doing recipes with the glass dish. What you don't see is the foil game. All right? This is the quick and easy kitchen. Who wants to clean this dish? I'm not cleaning this dish. I line it with foil, y'all. Do the same thing, quick and easy. You line it, all right, save you a ton of hassle. Or you can get a foil pan. I've done that too. I do not like these dishes like that. Let me get this thing up, over to his new home, and do a little molding. Like I say, not crazy. We like how it's kind of skinny though. Skinny and, and tall. Like I used to be back in the day. Skinny and tall. Now I'm just kind of big, y'all. But it happens, you get older, you know what I mean? I'm gonna see, let me pull that foil down a little bit. So, let, me, let me turn it for you. All right, let me get out of the way. Get your sides up, guys. Get you a nice, nice loaf there. Nice loaf in the game. Okay, guys, so we got a nice loaf. We ready? Check it out. Check me out. Nice loaf, guys. Because this thing going to have a lot of oil coming out. We've got the oven. She's ready to go. 375. It's probably going to take about an hour. 45 minutes to an hour. In a half an hour or so, we're going to mix up our glaze. Well, we're going to mix it up now. We're going to put it on in about a half hour or so. Okay, guys? Stay with me. I'm going to drop this thing in the oven. We're going to make a glaze. We're going to be about done. All right? Stay with me. Hey, cooks. We're back. It's time for the glaze game. We're going to glaze it up real nice, real simple. Like I said, she's in the oven. She's already, we already manhandled it. Been real handsy with it. It's time to get something on top of that roof. Okay, guys? Now, first what we do, we do about a half cup of ketchup. And that's totally up to you how much you want. Now, she spits up. Don't worry about it. We get the ketchup game. Okay, make a noise. About a teaspoon or two of mustard, or how much you like. I mean, these. think about these recipes, especially with something so subjective as a meatloaf. There's no wrong. I mean, you can flip those back and forth. Now, this is the killer. This is what's going to make it pop off. This is what we like. Sweet Baby Ray's, but sweet and spicy. That's a little kick to it. Now, before I got this, I would use regular barbecue sauce and maybe a teaspoon of hot sauce. It just brings it up, you know, adds a little flavor to it. I'm going to hit it with this. Oh, it's coming. All right. We're well, going to be generous with that because that's the flavor we like right there. That's what sets it apart. All right, cooks. Now we're just going to do maybe a teaspoon of Worcestershire. Again, Worcestershire. Eh, maybe a tablespoon. Okay, cooks, get this together. Get in your pan, bowl, whatever you have. Stir it around, mix it up. And like I said, guys, simple. If you want to add something to this, some people put brown sugar. If they like this a little sweeter, some people put a little chili powder sauce or something like that. Whatever you want to do. Do they have chili powder sauce? I don't they have chili powder. I'm sure they do. I think chili powder sauce is hot sauce, but don't quote me on that, guys. Don't quote me. All right, guys. We're good to go. If you like more, you like less, just add and stay in ratio. You know, maybe another two teaspoons or two tablespoons of ketchup. The same with the barbecue sauce. The same with the mustard. Stay in ratio and you're all good. Some people like a thin coat. Some people like it thick. All right, guys, remember, this is the easy meatloaf. Stay with me. We'll be back in a minute. All right, cooks. 
We've got it out. We've had it in about a half hour, 30, 35 minutes. That's why I'm gonna glaze a little early today. Okay, guys? And that way, we'll be glazed up. All right, so we got out here. Use a brush. You can use a spoon like Spoony G. You know who that is? Yeah, you old school. All right. Sometimes this brush could be annoying. That's why I always keep my spoon handy. If I get fed up with that, with this brush, this was a Christmas present, y'all, so I try to use this stuff. Usually I just do it with the straight-up spoon, stop playing with it, and get it up on there. Okay, so let's scoop this on here, y'all. Maybe I'll brush it on and get it fancier. That Spoony G work every time, y'all. See that Spoony G? It's that Spoony G, y'all. Shout out to Spoony G if you're still around the Godfather. All right. That glaze. Now, I guess this brush is probably helpful for the sides, though. Because we really didn't front them sides too much. But you see how that foil's working, guys? Pretty good, because that'll be all over the pan right now. So the foil is a help. And a great little tool. Like I said, unless you want to use a foil pan, you can do that, too. Whatever you want to do to get you through. All right? Or get you through. However you choose what dialect you want to use. Okay, guys? Get it all down the side. So like we said, it's a weekday. We're going to be ready to eat some. So we try to get this out fast. Now, if this was a Sunday dinner, you know, take your time with it. Make it art, you know. But you still, I mean, have pride in it. But you're not going to go all out. I mean, like I said, have pride in what you're cooking. But everybody knows on the week on the weekdays, it's a different flow. Got other stuff to do. We got three more jobs to go to in the middle of the evening. So we're gonna get this thing popping out here. All right, guys, you're looking good. You're looking glazed up, flossing on you. All right, guys, we're gonna get it back in the oven for another half hour, 20 minutes, and this thing will be done, guys. And remember to subscribe to the channel, comment, what do you think? Should you leave it in for the whole 45 minutes and then pull it, or give me your tips and tricks, all right? Come on, cooks, we're cooking again. All right, cooks, we're fresh out that oven. This thing is looking delicious, guys. Look at this, cooks. And remember I told you about that foil and that oil? See the difference? Now you see everybody else's videos with the oil and the pan and all that scrubbing they're gonna have to do. I'm gonna lift this out of here. Literally just take the foil out. I'm gonna let it set about three, four minutes. Lift the meatloaf out, lift that foil out, quick rinse of the pan, and we're good, guys. Remember, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, and share this video, guys. We're cooking again. I'm out.